Good evening, welcome to another episode in Amsterdam. Hello everyone. How are you doing? We are at Damrak. Another beautiful day in Amsterdam. It's about 10 Celsius. Life is almost the same in the Netherlands despite there's a light lockdown here. It's a Dutch style lockdown. So there's not many change in daily life here. The main thing is non-essential shops need to be closed at 6 o'clock. So currently it's almost 7 o'clock. All the non-essential shops are closed by this time. But the Horeca, which is hotel, restaurant, catering, is open until 8 o'clock. Also, uh, the supermarkets. Supermarkets are open also until 8 o'clock. Today, we are going to walk through Rokin Rehuliers Bray Strat and Rembrandt Plain and Utrecht Strat, probably. That's the plan. Paul Morris, good evening. Looks like a nice evening for a walk. Yes, it's a bit windy, but still nice. Next week will be colder. Next week, in the evening, it will be less than zero Celsius, I think. Daniel, hello. Donna Camilla, hello. Good to see you. Germany, Donna. Leo Hartmann, David from UK. Neu, hi, Mart Binik. Nice evening, thank you. How long are the new restrictions for? I think it's for three weeks. One week has already passed, so two weeks later, probably, they will make another announcement. So we wait another announcement, but what to be honest, I don't expect good news from the next meeting because every day another record in the Netherlands about COVID cases. Scott Robinson, hello, Gaskir Maggot. Hope to see you again next year. Hopefully, Scott, thanks so much for saying hello to us, to me. I was alone at, on that evening. <laughs> Bora, hi, Elizabeth, good to see you too, thank you. Eddie, Mart Kaya, Teşekkürler, Martin Polska, hello. Let's start to walk into with this beautiful dancing houses wheel. It's a bright evening, so the image is pretty clear. For an evening video, it's really clear. It's a cloudy weather, but I see that video quality is uh, much met much better than previous videos so let's go thank you Donna prime time <laughs> I started uh, one and a half hour ago before the prime time Okay, now I'm ready to walk. It's a Thursday evening, 18 November 2021, 10 Celsius, we are at Tamrak and let's go. Today we have a classical tour. Classical means I'm gonna follow the tourist route. Where we can see the most popular tourist attractions like Mane Campus in front of us, the price shop, very famous, there is a queue, as usual. So every day there is a new record uh, for COVID cases, today it was more than 23,000 new COVID cases throughout the country. It's a big number for a small country with only around 20 million population. Every day 23,000 cases and despite vaccination is at 85% as I know. There are more cases than the last year. Yeah, 
But as you see, there are not many restrictions in the Netherlands. Only in supermarkets and in the shops, actually, in all places where you don't need to show QR codes, you have to wear mask. If you show, if you need to show your QR codes, I mean vaccination proof, then you don't need to wear mask. So in public transportation, supermarkets, cinema, theater, museum, zoo, etc., you have to show COVID-19 vaccination proof. All other places you have to wear mask, but outside everything is free. On the street, everything depends on you, on your freedom. Today there are there are new rules in Germany. I heard that in Germany cases are higher as well. Generally, the whole Europe, I think. For example, last week I was in Czechia. Nowadays, Czechia also in a bad situation. There are more numbers. <coughs> Does U.S. vaccination proof work in Netherlands? Well, in the Netherlands, if we show uh, vaccination proof uh, approved by European Union then they accept so like Pfizer AstraZeneca Johnson and Sinovac they are approved vaccines by European Union so they accept if you don't have a digital app then if you show paper proof they also accept that, as I see when I visit restaurants and cafes. Good afternoon, Kiki Huang. Where are you from? Are you near the bicycle park now? Yes, I just passed actually. In Bears, at Bears Plain. There is one bicycle park, a new one. Hello, Colin, welcome. Okay, there are new Christmas decorations at the building of Bayankov. Look at that. There's a light show here. Probably will be staying until January 2022 for the new year. The Bayankov Luxury Shopping Mall is closed. It's non-essential. But Albertheim is essential, so it's open until 8 o'clock, as you see. Albertheim to go, by the way, for budget tourists, there's a little tip. This one, Albertheim to go, this is a tourist supermarket. Prices are higher here because it's in a touristic place and it's a small one and they sell only important things that you need on your daily life not like a big supermarket it's like a small supermarket so prices are higher if you see that it says to go that means prices are a bit a little bit higher Travel random World Health organizations say that lockdowns don't work in controlling a virus. I think the same, to be honest. We see that from the numbers. It seems they spent pretty much on the light decoration of the Bayankov. Look at that, it's snowing. Or stars. Let's take a look to Down Square.
Next live stream will be on Saturday and another one on Sunday. But Saturday, we will do our live stream walk in another city, another town, a new place which we have never been there before. The location is surprise. I will announce it on Saturday. First with the members, YouTube members. By the way, thanks to all YouTube members and Patreon supporters. Still they are supporting me with their contributions. Thanks a lot. Appreciate your support and help. Maybe another time I can do a special live stream about questions and answers about the current situation in the Netherlands and about your questions uh, about me and life here and the YouTube channel, etc. I don't know. Maybe I will plan it in a few months. Boogeyman, I'm happy to see another live stream. Welcome. You see the royal palace on your screen now. Next to that, the new church. Which way to go? Rockin or Kalfersrat? Let's take a look to Kalfersrat. Well, Kalfersstraat is a shopping street and all the shops are closed probably. Maybe it's empty. Let's take a look from this uh, corner and then I will decide if I go inside or not. All right, Kalfersstraat is looking not bad. No one's uh, rocking. Like a few minutes, I will follow Kalfersrat and then I will, I'm gonna show you rocking. There are also new light decorations on Kalfersrat, like many other streets in Amsterdam. For example, Zeedijk. There are also light symbols, signs, and decorations in Zeedijk. I expect that in Utrechtstraat also there are light decorations. We will see at the end of this walking tour. <laughs> if you are new on this channel, let me remind you that I do these walking tours three times a week at least. And please subscribe or if you wish join to the channel as a member so you can uh, access to 360 videos or some extra benefits and also you will be supporting me if you can't only hitting the like button is more than enough or leaving your comments always appreciate what happening with the coffee shops to be honest i don't know they are non-essential shops uh, i think they need to close at six o'clock that's my guess. I haven't seen any yet. Tibor, hello. Maybe we can see the window of Pop Cult, Trevor Random. Pop Cult, where is that? Pop Cult. I can't see that. Okay, if we can see now, another time I will look for that for you. Trevor London. Hello London, Boswell. And Jim Martin from Toronto, Canada. You see the souvenir shop is closed because it's 7 o'clock. They need to close at 6 o'clock. So that means that means the bars and restaurants are closing at 8 o'clock. Horeca. That means everyone in the Netherlands will be drunk before 8 o'clock. They're gonna start drinking earlier, earlier than before. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Ah, uh, by the way, take away, take away is possible. Take away is possible. Even the supermarket and restaurants are closing at eight o'clock. I can see that you're very busy, but uh, God bless yes, you. I'm on a live video. Yes, thank you. I'll check. <laughs> okay, they're promoting Jesus, Lord, brother, and sister. Jesus love you. We love him too. <laughs> All right, takeaway restaurants is still working until 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, lately 12 o'clock. So you, you can still order uh, food to your home. So eating, eating at the restaurant is available until 8 o'clock. After that time, only takeaway is possible. Okay, from the next corner, I'm gonna turn Rokin, turn to Rokin. Dinciler her yerde Mert Kaya, evet. Yes, people, all the people are gonna, gonna drinking, start drinking at 12 o'clock in the noon until 8 o'clock in the evening. Murat, is the Fondal Park open 24 hours? Mm, I'm not really know that. I know that it's open until at least 12 o'clock. But they close the side doors, small doors, before 8 o'clock. Probably it's open in the, in the night, but only main doors, I think. Amsterdam Municipality website is pretty good about that actually. You can see all the information, for example, which parks you can make barbecue or which parks are open in the night and what are the crime rates in which neighborhoods, etc. There are lots of detailed statics on that website. Another time I will take a look. I will share some of them. Hi Murat, we have been following you for a while and enjoying all your travels. Christine and John, Manchester, UK, I think. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for watching. Glad to have you here. Hello. <laughs> okay, we were turning to Rockin from the next corner. Saturday, probably we will visit Limburg, Limburg province of the Netherlands. I haven't decided yet completely, but I'm thinking about that. Another nice decoration here. House of Ritual. Rituals. But we are going towards Rockin. Rokin looks empty, but let's take a look. Our workers are here, cleaning guys.
next to the Rokin Canal and the metro station. Hello Pablo, welcome. Evie Dixon, love your Febo video. Watch it last night when I am in Amsterdam, it's my favorite. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm glad that you like the Febo video. Not many people watching that video nowadays, so good to hear that. Patrick told hi, hello. Are there still coffee shops in Amsterdam? I heard they were closing, right, Jose? Uh, no, actually there are still more than 250 coffee shops at least. Yes, the municipality has some plans closing touristic souvenir shops and coffee shops and red zone etc but it takes years and years guys keep my good I love the family <laughs> we had a guts guys keep my good challenge on that video that's a special one <laughs> we will do it again sonar is busy nowadays we will do a similar video maybe not Febo something else but similar video is waiting for you soon as soon as we find the time with sonar I'm moving forward to Muntplein Today I don't have change so I couldn't support street musician What is Febo? Febo is a chain fast food restaurant with automated machines. You put some coins or you show your debit card to the machines and you take your burger or croquettes, some snacks from the boxes which are warmed up all the time. So it's very easy. You don't see any stuff. You just pay and take your snacks from the boxes it's famous throughout the Netherlands especially Febo is one company there are some other companies like that like Smothers and some others Febo has some very suitable food it's true. <laughs> Kiki Wang, are you allowed to do an Albertine in store walk around video the other day? Well, that kind of things needs special permission. I mean, uh, I cannot make video in an Albert in an Albertine without getting your permission indoor places it's not possible but in the future I can do that I can ask permission from an Albertine and I can show the prices on some of my videos we got permission from some museums like Amsterdam Museum or the longest church in Gouda, etc. We took permission and I showed the places on the video. Is it now? Yes, Billy. Billy, is it now? It is now. <laughs> now you are in present. Look, rocking, rocking canal, and uh, nearby Amstel River, the Hotel Europe. Hotel of Europe. Look, November 18. It's now. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream walk. That's great. There were construction here. Constructions. It's finished, as I see. 
so we can walk freely. Because of the good light decoration, this building looks awesome, a historical hotel. The El Europe. And Amstel River. The hotel restaurants and breakfast place next to the Amstel River and in distance we can see the Opera Ballet building. Before moving forward I'm going to tell you about some history about this place. Before Canal Belt was opened, I mean Herrengracht, Singlecracht and uh, Prinzengracht and Kaisergracht were opened this area was the end of the city. There were protection walls here. To, it's, it was a fortified city. So there was another port here. It was called Reguliers Port, I think. I think it was instead of this hotel, there was a Reguliers Port gate, city gate. And another one is here. This is the last remained part of the fortified part of the city. It's called Münthoren, Münt Tower. So this city, city was ending here. The other part, this part, Rembrandt Plain part, was empty. So now I will get into regular place strat and I will continue to the story. So this area was empty for a while after after canals were built the city started expanding started expanding and some farmers villagers started to arrive Rembrandt plain current Rembrandt plain to sell their products like dairy things bottles in the 17th century, as I remember. For a long time, Rembrandt Plain was called Buttermarkt, which is Butter Market. Later, Rembrandt's Bolton House around this area and Rembrandt's statue was moved to Rembrandt Square, Bolton Market Square. And after that, it starts, it was start calling like Rembrandt Plain. That's the story of Rembrandt Plain. And this is regular Strat. There's also a calf market here on the street. It was moved from Calf Strat as well. The another important place which is the theater i mentioned about this building on many videos so today i'm, I'm gonna skip it as i see there are two officers in the gates now they check uh, vaccination proof And there is a new place here, Abraham, Bar Abraham. It's new. Abraham Pate Tuchinsky. Abraham is the founder of Tuchinsky Theater. So they opened a new place, which is called Abraham Bar and Art Gallery, I think. There's a Febo here, someone asked Febo. This is Febo. Fast food chain. Uh, it's a good time to get some kasuke, my favorite. So I'm gonna take a kasuke here. Oops. 
give me a minute. Murat, do you like dodge football? Uh, I'm not a football fan, to be honest. Usually, I don't watch. Puerto Lakes, you're welcome. And what else? I see. I check if I miss something. Okay, I think I didn't miss anything, so let's get my uh, beautiful snack. Casfle is empty. Great burger, cricket burger, cricket burger. So chicken burger three euro. Burger, normal hamburger, three euro. Okay, this one also vegetarian, I will try that one. No. It doesn't work. I'll try it on my return. I can order from that stuff instead of using the boxes but we would wait too much so for now i skip it all right i i see olibolum place instead let's get olibolum instead of febo i i was getting a vegetarian croquette but the cart reader was broken. And now we are in Rembrandt Plain, which was watermarked in 18, 17th century. Do you learn Dutch language? If yes, where was your level? Yes, I do. Uh, I got lesson from a private teacher, online lessons for almost two years. Uh, my level, I can say, upper intermediate, probably. Okay, it's time to get volleyball. Hello. I will take one. Uh, oh, what was the difference? Uh, this one is with uh, raisins and this one without. Ah, okay. This one then. With raisins, okay. Thank you. Yep. Oh, I have five. Okay. Thanks so much. <laughs> yes, a Dutch tradition, winter delicacy, olibolum. Right, this is the product.
and inside, wow, it's too sweet. I got enough sugar, sugar for my whole week. Nesli Şah Özen'e çocuk yakışıklımış, adını sorsan <gülüyor> geç kaldık. <gülüyor> Bir dahaki sefere. Demirci, hello, welcome. Murat, I give two thousand dollar for replace you right now. Oh, wow, my place, priceless. <laughs> One more. I wish you would be here without paying any thousand. Look, I have snow on my jacket now. This is one of the best tradition of the Netherlands in autumn and winter. It's unhealthy, of course. Like most of the Dutch treat, Dutch food, it's also unhealthy. Sugar, flour, and carbs, like all other snacks, it's the same. It's pity. No healthy things. Today is my cheat day. The last one. Oops. No milk wine, glue wine stall here if I see I would get a drink as well but I can see that I hear that in museum plane which we visited last weekend a Sunday there will be a Christmas market small Christmas market will be opened by this Sunday another time we will visit again if they don't close because of COVID-19 situations I will visit Maastricht, Köln, Germany before Christmas. So of course I will do live stream tours. So keep following. It's pity all the terraces are almost empty. Not many people around. Normally at this time with this weather, it should be full, all, all the street and all the places. Look at the view. Rakamasas Demirci, I envy you. <laughs> I'll do the same soon. It tastes like uh, sugar with flour. <laughs> it's not too sweet, it's moderate. You can easily eat at least three or four of them. Hello Aziz El Halil, thank you so much. Have you ever seen Bremen, Germany? Yes. We made a bicycle tour with my friends from Amsterdam to Hamburg. And during that bicycle tour, it took five days. We, we went through Bremen also. I have some pictures from that famous statue. Let's take a look to Rembrandt Plain. 
and then I will see Utrecht Strat. Coffee shops are open. It seems they are also open until 8 o'clock. Here is the Rembrandt plane. Night watchers are not here any longer. The other statues, statues are not here any longer. On the Rembrandt plane we have here. Ottoman colors on the streets. Have you been to Denmark? Not yet. I want to visit Denmark. It's close not far away from the Netherlands, so as soon as possible I will do that, probably in spring at least, I mean earliest. Let's take another look to Rembrandt Plain and then we will leave the square. So as I mentioned before, this area was out, out of the city and there was a butter market here, butter market, for a long time. What's your name? My name is Murat. Getir. Getir is a new brand here. It's a Turkish name, Getir. They painted all the trams, it seems. It's an app, they bring anything you order in minutes. This is not a promotion. What have all the statues gone? I'm not sure about the story, but in a Dutch article I read that the Rembrandt Plain Association were paying annually money for that statues. They were like rental. So two years ago they decided to stop payments and the owners of the statues just removed them here. We have a public urinary here with a light decoration. How nice. <laughs> Three sisters pop. Let's go towards to Utrecht Strat. There are also light decorations here. That goes to Amstel side. Thank you, Nesliha. Well, thanks so much, but I don't think so. I'm still trying to improve it. It's a Turkish English. This is the entrance of Utrechtstraat. Yeter bir mutluluk her şaban. Wow, Utrecht Strat looks beautiful. <laughs> Let's continue to historical story from here. You know, I mentioned about uh, Reguliar's port, a gate. Utrecht Strat. Utrecht is a city in the Netherlands, in the center of the Netherlands. And this street is called Utrecht Strat, and the name comes after Utrecht City. Because at the end of this road, this street, there was another port, another city gate. There were eight gates 
eight city gates in Amsterdam in the past and one of them was Utrecht support at the end of the street there is a port so the travelers from Utrecht support to the city they were traveling through the street and the Reguliers bracelet And at the end of the street, currently there is Frederick's plane, Frederick's square. It's, it was called like Utrecht plane in the past. But Utrecht support was demolished in 19th century. It was built in 17th century, but it was demolished in 19th century. So nowadays, uh, instead of Utrecht support, because it was demolished, there is another building which is currently the Netherlands Bank, Central Bank of the Netherlands. <laughs> the street goes through three canals, three big canals. Right. Herrenkracht, Kaiserkracht and Prinzenkracht. So you can see all that three canals of the famous canal belt if you walk through the street. There was also a fourth canal, which was called Achterkracht, but in the 19th century, as I remember, it was filled. So it's not a canal any longer, as I know. Like many other canals, it was filled and it's opened as a street. That's the end of the history lesson today. Now we can enjoy the view. Have you been in Heathorn? Yes, many times. I have two or three videos from Heathorn. If you would like to watch, just uh, search like Heathorn, follow my travels, and you can find them. One live stream and one pre record videos and one bike tour in Heathorn. Because it was COVID times and no one is there, no one was there, so I could ride my bicycle around Heathorn. What happens if you are on the streets after 8 p.m.? Nothing. You you can be on the streets uh, with, without a limitation. There is no limitation about that. Only the places, restaurants are closing at 8 o'clock. If you would like to walk around, if you would like to go out, uh, it's possible. There is not any restriction about that. Where were you born in Turkey? Istanbul, Üsküdar. But my hometown is Kadıköy. So as I mentioned, you can see three main canals when you walk through the street. For example, this one, Kaiserskracht. By the way, restaurants are closed at 8 o'clock, but that doesn't mean you can enjoy the places. You can just order anything from the restaurants until 10, 11 o'clock for takeaway. You can get your drinks or foods as takeaway and sit on a bank bench around the canals and or some office chair in Kaiserskracht <laughs> I think this is for me someone put a chair for me here thanks so much right okay Gas Maggot thanks for the history lesson thanks so much Gas Maggot let's try this okay it works you see, I have an office chair near Kaiserkracht. 
Perfect. <laughs> Take a seat, yes. <laughs> nice. Someone put a chair for me here. <laughs> <laughs> Some friendly neighbors And next to the bus stop You can just uh, get into the bus from your chair immediately I will leave it here for another lucky person Who would like to see Kaisercraft view From his or office chair <laughs> well, I would be more happy if I would find a coach, but office chair is also fine. <laughs> I I'm so spoiled. <laughs> I found an office chair and I'm still talking about coach. Oops. Obviously, they spent some money on these Christmas decorations in Utrecht Strat because it's a shopping street. And most of the shops on the streets, they are high-level shops. Beginner's minds. Wow. Oh. That looks fine. Let's start a pussy ride. <laughs> Change the world. You see, there are some interesting shops here. Like this. What's that? Wow. Let it be. Let it be. Uh, this is Concerto. Yes, we are right in front of Concerto. Since 1955. Abba. Abba Voyage. That looks fine. Wow. Abba Voyage. Exclusive. another antique historical shop or there let's take a look says who makrai key key and uh, shoes accessories some interesting things about that if you have a shoe hobby or fetish this is the place. At the end of the street, when we see the Frederick's plane, I will stop the video for today. It's already almost one hour, so probably in 10-15 minutes we will be finishing this video. But let me remind you, next live stream will be another city on Saturday. Probably in Limburg and the next Amsterdam walking tour will be on Sunday. Is this the way to Fondel Park? Uh, no, I think. Maybe yes. No, I think no. It, it, this way goes to the pipe, I think. Some special wine shop. Meat and Greek. Restaurants. What time is it now? 
It's almost 8 o'clock, 20 minutes left for the last customers inside the restaurants. And this is Prinzenkracht, the third one, the last one. Because after Kracht was filled, this is the last canal you can see when you walk through Utrechtstraat. Also, there are many Asian restaurants in this street, and many of them are special Asian restaurants. I mean, they are good. Also, there are some Middle East restaurants. <laughs> Let's take a look back. Hey, Paulo from Brazil here. Welcome, my friends. Am I late to the party? Like 55 minutes. There were some interesting things. Maybe you can check it from the beginning later. Right. Health Check Center. This is COVID test center and a coffee, coffee shop. Just a normal coffee shop. Also, there are some teapots, beautiful ones. Coffee machine. Wow, a giant Bialetti coffee pot. If you like me, come inside and love my coffee. I wish I would, but you are already closed. You are already closed, sorry. Because of the new measures. This is Italia. Look at that bird. Fantastic colors. Book handle. The last thing I'm gonna check out the bookshop. With a restaurant view. Final words. You spin right around, right round. <laughs> oh wow, this is a Donald Trump book. I alone can fix it. <laughs> The big bike rides in the world. It's a great book for someone who lives in Amsterdam. The New Yorker cartoons. Wow, there are some interesting books. 
another time I'm gonna visit and we have El Shafak here. My Turkish followers. We have a Turkish writer here, Turkish author, El Shafak. At the islands something. At island from the fat Venom Bowman. I can't see Orhan Pamuk. Anyway, let's go. Yes, Paolo, we are around Frederick's Plain. Frederick Plain. So this is the square where once in the past it was called Utrecht Plain. Uh, maybe I should walk through here. Radek, man, your pronunciation, <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know it's funny, <laughs> sorry about that, but it, it makes my videos more colorful, I think, because of my Turkish, Dutch, English mixed pronunciation. Neslisa. <laughs> Bitirmemizi istemiyor. Nerede yaşıyorsunuz? Are you near Frederick's Plain? Yes, we are right there. Hello Elena. We are almost at the end of the video. Sorry. But it's already been one hour, so you can watch it from the beginning if you wish. On the next corner, I'm gonna stop the video. Frankfurt'ta Nesisa. Frankfurt'ta da bisiklet turu yapmıştık. Amsterdam'dan bir haftada. Teşekkürler izlediğiniz için. Haftada üç defa yapıyoruz bu turları bilginize. Ne hay Murat do you feel different of all regarding to security between the Netherlands and Turkey? Uh, not much to be honest. I feel also comfortable in Turkey. Maybe because I was raised in Turkey. Some people will think that. Istanbul and some areas in Istanbul might be dangerous but to me uh, anywhere is safe in Istanbul and I feel the same in the Netherlands as well Thank you Radek uh, I have a lot of grammar mistakes, but I'm improving it. No worries. Thanks so much for reminding this course server, Bora. Yes, we are at the end of this video. I'm making some reminders for you. We have a Discord server. You can find the link on the description of this video. Please join our Discord server, chat with the other members, ask your questions. And in the next month, I will make a special video about your questions. Uh, it will be like a question answers video. So I will get your questions about the current situation in the Netherlands, COVID-19 things, or about me, about the channel, or anything. I mean, unless it's too personal, I, I will answer your questions on a live video. Next month, I will try to do that. And on the description of this video also you can find my social media links, TikTok, Instagram, etc. 
and if you so like these videos if you too much uh, interest on these videos you can support me by joining to the channel as member thanks so much see you on saturday have a great evening have a great day The last thing, there is a, the Netherlands, Central Bank of the Netherlands is over there, this building or the other one. It was the place where there was an Utrecht support gate. The city gate, Utrecht support was there. That's why Utrecht Straat is called like that. There was, it was the street between the Utrecht gate, the city gate, to the Recruiters uh, gate, mm, instead of Hotel Europe, next to the Amstel. That's all the things I want to tell you about the history of this area. See you. Bye-bye.